the same protesters who've been marching against police use of force took over a Portland school board meeting last night. Now you remember they did the same thing at a recent town hall meeting where an award was being presented to a World War II veteran. So today we wanted to know who is this group and what exactly it is that they're trying to accomplish. Our Chris Woodard joins us now from the newsroom, Chris. And the group Don't Shoot Portland tells me they know there are criticisms out there, but they stand by their actions and they say there is one reason behind everything they do. No for our children. We demand to be heard. This is not the way Portland school board members expected their meeting to unfold. Are you going to leave? You don't want to hear what the parents have to say. We were there as protesters from Don't Shoot Portland went front and center. Turn on the cameras! Turn on the cameras! Stopping the meeting where board members were scheduled to vote on a new school transfer policy. And our whole intention for stopping that meeting was to say, no, you're not going to vote today. You're going to hear why you're not going to vote today, and it's going to come directly from these parents. This is the same group that has been marching Portland streets for weeks to protest police shootings. So today I went to protest organizers for answers. What are you hoping to accomplish? Uh, social justice. I met them as they left a meeting with the mayor's staff and asked what the school transfer policy has to do with their cause. With Don't Shoot Portland, we're trying to fight against the assault and the in custody deaths of blacks. And we believe that the criminal justice system and the way that we're perpetuated in our communities is a direct reflection of some of the things that happen early in when children are in school. The board interruption comes 10 days after the interruption of a town hall meeting by Senator Ron Wyden. Start the meeting and then we'll call on you early on, okay? I don't know okay. going to take over the town hall right now. No, ma'am. Okay, Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Where, among other things, he was presenting medals for heroism to a World War II veteran. Again, I asked for an explanation. We, we would have hoped that not um, the story about, you know, we shut down a memorial and all this yeah. other stuff uh, wouldn't have took from the TPP and the no on fast track and all the other things that came up. But unfortunately, that's, I guess, news. A don't shoot did stop for enough time for Wyden to present the medal to that veteran at the meeting. They say the real goal of all of these events is to give people a voice. However, there is a lot of criticism about how they're going about that, and they're aware of it, including the two events we just highlighted. Back to you.